If people like me have to get involved, you know we're in deep shit. My main field of expertise is probably sarcasm. I did go to university, but only because I'd run out of people to get off with in my village. And my expertise is triggering your racist uncle, often just by opening my mouth. Most of us by now are aware we're facing a climate crisis, but perhaps not the full scale and urgency of it. Translation, we're still going to hell, but we're getting there faster. This axis represents time, and this axis represents how fucked we are. We are destabilising our planet's climate system, which is already leading to an increase in unpredictable weather events. Bad weather used to mean, don't forget your umbrella. Now it means possible death. My word of the year is fire-nado. It's a tornado that's on fire. Plenty more of that kind of thing ahead. This is not a problem just for our children or grandchildren. This is an immediate threat to all our lives. The climate crisis won't just affect strangers. It will affect your family and your children. It might even affect people you like. I thought the shit was supposed to hit the fan later, you know, for our kids and grandkids to deal with, but it's hitting the fan already, and we're all going to get covered in shit. The overall consequences are literally inescapable. Crop failures, global food shortages, hundreds of millions of refugees. We're all going to need to learn how to grow our own vegetables and also how to machete any neighbours who try and steal them. During lockdown, we had shortages of bog roll that nearly caused a civil war in Waitrose. Wait until what we've run out of is food. There are also potentially dangerous feedbacks that if we reach various tipping points... Tipping points. Tipping points. ..could push our world into a period of runaway warming that we could do nothing about. Even the crazy predictions probably aren't crazy enough. You thought it was bad. Well, it's a lot worse than that. The irony is solar and wind power are now over ten times cheaper than oil and gas. We can still prevent much of the damage and end up in a better place for everyone. With wind and sun power, we save money and don't die. It's a pretty strong selling point. The overwhelming majority of people want change before it's too late. This can't be achieved just by individual action, like recycling. We need governments to step in. The reason governments are not transitioning fast enough is because the fossil fuel industry has a grip on many politicians. There's still trillions of dollars of oil in the ground and they plan to dig it all up, even if it screws up planet Earth for the rest of us. Zero corporate fucks given. Now is the time to act and to make your voice heard. It's up to each of us what we do. Go see your MP, go on a protest, boycott your bank if they fund oil and gas. But at this point, we all need to do something. I would prefer to do fuck all, and I'm very good at it. But doing fuck all is scientifically proven not to work. One day, someone's going to ask, what did you do? Possibly your kids, or your conscience, or some form of tribunal. Anyway, last chance to get your answer sorted. <laughs>